Pallets are compliant with international standards if they have the marking to prove it. This mark right here. As previously reported by GBC, businesses in Gibraltar have been sent some non-compliant ones. And now that they're here, they can't get rid of them. They're not compliant with the international standard and can't be treated here to make them compliant. So no one will take them. GBC understands there are around 25,000 pallets in Gibraltar at present. Businesses can't simply dispose of the non-compliant pallets because they're the property of the suppliers they work with, and they'll get charged for not returning them. The legislation introduced today states that wooden pallets entering Gibraltar will need to be compliant with the international standard, and that there should be at least one visible mark to prove this. A problem for local traders is that some of their suppliers, largely based in the EU, don't work with compliant pallets to begin with. Some of them are well prepared, they have the infrastructure to, to send us the correct pallets, some of them are not, you know, so uh, some, of us, some of them give us the option uh, to double handle, so they've got the pallets in the stores and they, as I've mentioned before, they have to uh, remove and reload on the compliant pallet, so that adds the extra cost of between 15 to 25 pounds per pallet. So it, all in all, it increases the, the, the cost of doing uh, business. Um, there are some companies that operated uh, the pallet removal and they're, they're um, going back into taking the compliant pallets. Uh, but yeah, we do have still a considerable stock of pallets that we need to uh, dispose of somehow. The legislation will aim to tackle non-compliant pallets coming into Gibraltar going forward. But this is a difficult task in itself because if one enters in error, it can't be sent back. The government told GBC that HM Customs would police this as they do with other prohibited items. But it would require the cooperation of suppliers and wholesalers sending their goods to the rock. If non-compliant pallets are turned away, that could also result in delays to supply products to the rock. The government told GBC that non-compliant pallets will be confiscated and dealt with by fines, adding that cases could be taken to court. As far as I understand it, the, the importer, like ourselves, will be responsible for the fine and then we would have to pass it on to the supplier, which is not that easy. Uh, so it's very hard to change the, the, you know, the, the, the way things uh, operate for, for these suppliers and for them to understand the, the gravity of the, of the, the the difficulties in, in the situation. Um, right now, as I said, some are are playing um, with us. You know that they're, they're like uh, um, complying to our requests, and others cannot. You know they haven't got the infrastructure. So there are suppliers which have suddenly, or or through negotiation, have said, "Look, um, your business is is not uh, of interest to us anymore. Um, we we just pull out from from the market." The legislation will help, but the hope for businesses here is that an EU-UK treaty on Gibraltar will resolve the problem once and for all. Until then, they continue to pile up these pallets. With land in short supply and the companies ultimately responsible for storing them, the problem could yet reach a tipping point in future.